Hey guys, Reverse Negative here. This is Steve, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the movie adaptation of Watchmen. Basically this, well, it should have been a heck of a lot more highly anticipated than it was. I mean, it should have been one of the greatest movies, yeah, well, one of the most popular ones out there when it was released, and well, it wasn't. But, but mostly because it's, it's judged and to be said as the greatest graphic novel of all time. When I'd seen it, I didn't go to see it in the theaters. Some friends of mine just told me it was a good movie, so I rented the DVD when it had come out, and I, I liked it. I watched it a couple more times, and I picked up the um, book later on, later on, and I read it, and it was a marvel of modern literature. But it was a masterpiece. It was a great piece of literature. Mm -hmm. I'm using big words. You know it must be good if I'm using big words. I don't usually use big words. Is what I guess I'm trying to say. But I guess it was basically like kick-ass. I, I watched the movie before I read the comic. When it actually started with the comic. Mm -hmm. The movie was good. Like, I mean, it was really good. And when I read the book, I found out a lot of it was actually directly from the graphic novel. Like, I've even heard that um, the director actually used the original graphic novel as a script. Which I found awesome. A lot of people are saying, you know, oh, you know, it, it's, it's too close to the movie. Or, the movie's too close to the book. It's too much like it. But the thing is, when, it, when it's not anywhere, when it's really different from the book, they're going to say it's nowhere close to an adaptation. And you know what? Just make up your mind. Personally, I don't care as long as it makes a good movie. I personally thought it was a good movie. If it's an adaptation, and it's a book like Watchmen, and they use the book as a script, I think that's actually awesome. I believe um, Zack Snyder did the same thing with um, 300. Haven't, I've seen a, whole, a heck of a lot of clips from it, but I haven't actually seen 300. I'll have to go see it sometime. Or rent a movie or whatever. And, well, what I'm saying is it's awesome. But what I really liked is the, um, is the effect on Rorschach's mask. Like the ink, the moving ink blots. I thought that was cool. I also picked up the director's cut. I mean, it was... It was interesting to see the, when I saw the director's cut, it was interesting to see all the clips I'd taken out. But personally, well, some of them would have really worked in the movie, but a lot of them just, nah, it's good they got rid of them. Like the, um, the Hollis, the uh, fight at the, fight with Hollis Mason, where, where Hollis Mason dies, where the, um, the dudes break into his house and kill him. I, well, that was from the book, and I liked that, that fight. It was a, it was a sad fight. It was like flashbacks of before and everything, and it was cool. I liked it. And what I also liked about that part is, um, later how it, how they added in the director's cut how, you know, Nightowl heard that on the news, and he got really pissed off and go, and beat the hell out of some random dude. I really liked that. I really did. But a lot of the other stuff, I didn't, I didn't like it. That, that, that specifically, I really liked. It showed a heck of a lot of emotion. Mm. And you know what? I actually noticed that Rorschach looked a hell of a lot more badass in the movie than in the book. It, it's funny. Well, what, well, that's not just the funniest thing, though. The funniest thing is that um, when Alan Moore wrote Watchmen, he wanted everyone to be rooting for Night Owl. And he wanted Night Owl to be the, the big awesome badass character that everyone liked and he wanted Rorschach to be viewed as just some crazy lunatic that everyone hated when it turned out everyone well it, we found out that it turned out Rorschach is some crazy lunatic but everyone loves him for that and instead of Night Owl coming out as a heroic badass he comes out as some whiny wimp which you know it is true nowadays everyone likes the crazy people Rorschach, Moon Knight, Deadpool Yeah. And then that brings, and then that kind of reminds me of the Deadpool movie, which pisses me off. But you know what? Not talking about that. We're talking about Watchmen. 
an awesome movie. Give it, I give it nine, eight point five, eight point five. Yeah, I definitely give it eight point five because it was a good movie. I loved all the effects and everything. I loved the adaptation, but I mean, it had potential to do a little bit more than what it did. I can't really quite put my finger on it, but it had potential to go further. It did go that distance, but there was still about a couple meters left that still had to jog to make it a really more awesome movie. Even though it was awesome, it could have been awesomer. See ya.